Good evening, everyone. This is Jonathan again from the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. This will be a winter weather briefing regarding our chances for winter precipitation starting late tonight into early Friday and continuing on through Saturday. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in here pretty quickly. Between midnight and 6 a.m., we expect winter precipitation to start to return to the region, especially across the Texoma region, west north Texas, southern Oklahoma. Most of the precipitation across northern, uh, nor north western North Texas will likely be freezing rain and sleet, kind of a mixture. And then we'll have a, a transition line somewhere down around Ardmore, and we'll have some rain as well where temperatures are above freezing still across far southeastern and south central Oklahoma. Locations to the north can expect patchy freezing drizzle, maybe some freezing fog across the area. Between 6 a.m. and noon, this is where the forecast gets a little tricky. Uh, because we are going to have an area of, of temperatures that might basically kind of linger right above freezing, which will result in rain at the surface instead of freezing rain. And this is what's made this forecast pretty, pretty difficult. Uh, basically, we expect wherever this transition line sets up here across central Oklahoma back and down into northern Texas, anything off to the west will likely be freezing rain and sleet, and then we'll have a mix somewhere where that transition line is, and then we'll have rain farther off to the east as we move through the move through the morning hours on on Friday as we get into the afternoon hours that transition line will continue to reside across central Oklahoma and then down through into portions of West North Texas so really any travel on the I-35 corridor I-44 corridor could be pretty hazardous as we get through the day now back off to the west this is where we'll have a better chance of freezing rain and then rain those locations to the east so uh, it's a pretty tricky forecast, so we're trying to nail this down as best we can right now. But this is what we're thinking, kind of where the transition will be, will be across the central Oklahoma back down into northern Texas. So as we move into the evening, evening hours and overnight, Friday into Saturday, uh, colder air will start to filter in from the, from the west, and that's as the upper-level storm system starts to track across the panhandles. As the colder air comes in, we'll end up with a good chance of snow to our northwest and to our west, uh, area of rain, freezing rain and snow will exist. Again, that transition line. Another area of a mix of freezing rain and rain farther to the to the east, and then rain off to our southeast and our, our south central area of, of Oklahoma there. So pretty messy forecast we get through the overnight. Okay, so what do we think for ice accumulations? Well, right now, the chance for any ice up to about a quarter of an inch will be down across far southwestern Oklahoma and then western north Texas. We'll have this narrow corridor here where we could get some glazing up to an eighth of an inch, and that includes the Oklahoma City metro. Uh, I, I'll imagine this map will change over time, so definitely continue to check back on the forecast as we watch this system evolve over time. Locations to the southeast and south central, this should primarily be mainly rain. We, should, we could see some freezing rain in here as well, but uh, ice accumulation is not expected to be all that great around this area. But like I said, this could change uh, over the course of the night and through the day tomorrow. So definitely check back uh, whenever you can to the latest forecasts. Okay, so we move 6 a.m. to noon on Saturday. So as we get through in, into Saturday morning, uh, should be primarily all snow. Uh, best snow chances will be, of course, up, up across the northwest. We'll have another transition line of kind of a rain-snow mix, and then we should have rain down to our southeast. Noon to 6 p.m., once again, snow up here in the northwest and the western part of, the, of, the, of Oklahoma. Uh, kind of a transition area again around Oklahoma City and then rain down here. Drier air will start to intrude from the southwest. We'll get, we'll get what we call dry-slotted. And so we could see precipitation in across West North Texas and then even up into the Oklahoma City metro as we move through the afternoon hours on Saturday. Okay, so potential snowfall. We've really upped this map since yesterday. Looks like we get a good chance of two to four inches across far northwestern Oklahoma, maybe in the range of one to two inches, and then anywhere from a dusting to a trace uh, as you get closer to the metro, kind of a still water north of OKC, still water to Yukon, El Reno to Altus Line. You could see a dusting to a half inch during uh, late Friday into Saturday as that snow starts to move in. Okay, so impacts, we all know roads will become slick and hazardous. Always have a winter plan if you have to travel, especially if you're going to be traveling on the I-35 corridor, I-44 corridor down to Wichita Falls. Carry an emergency kit in your car, drive slowly, use your headlights, and always use your best judgment. Okay, and with that, this concludes the weather briefing here from the National Weather Service in Norman. I just want to thank you again for logging on tonight. Remember to check our webpage frequently for the most up-to-date forecast information. Winter forecast can and will change. 
So you can go to weather.gov forward slash Norman and be sure to stay tuned to your local media outlets as well. You can always like us on Facebook and please follow us on Twitter. You can get information there as well. Have a great night and thanks again.